The Dallas Mavericks arriving at the building earlier today. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Basketball. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony. And with us from the sidelines tonight, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Thanks very much. Now, Commissioner Adam Silver is continuing to push for the creation of an in-season tournament. He says the notion is to steal a page from European soccer. It's not the Larry O'Brien trophy, but something secondary that teams care about. Something you'd see players go into that extra gear for. Kevin, back to you. That's pretty intriguing, D.A. That's an interesting story, and we thank you for giving it to us. And both these offenses geared to space the floor, Greg, in many cases playing outside in. And we've got some bombers out there tonight. It's become a shooter's league. I just hope we'll see some balance as well. So let's take a look at the starters for the Dallas Mavericks. Powell is out there with Reggie Bullock. Then there's Luka Doncic. Then it's Kyrie Irving, and it's Green in at the three spot. And for Brooklyn, we've got Mikel Bridges. And it's Finney Smith in at the four. Now, here's Bridges. Pass to Finney Smith for the three. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And the first of many to come. Explosive offensive talent on both sides. And if everything goes to plan, this could be a very fun matchup to watch. On the wing, Doncic. Dinwiddie covering. Doncic passes to Powell. A shot that time, not on target. And Brooklyn will come the other way. Irving against Bridges. Here's Finney Smith looking for Bridges. He gets it there. Johnson wide open. He fires. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. Not a ball stopper on the wing. Bridges with the helper. And the question for the Mavs is simple. How do you best build around Luka Doncic? They'll try to answer that in the coming years. Brooklyn's gone 2-2 two two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Pass to Dinwiddie. Here's Finney Smith. On the wing, Bridges. He's guarded by Bullock. Bridges misses. And Greg, it just seems for the Mavs, it's all about finding the right fit for the role players. And that's why this team was willing to move on from Porzingis. Going forward, you could see them look a lot like the hard near Rockets. Irving for three. And out of bounds as Brooklyn gains possession. The Nets have gone two or three here to start out the game. Bridges outside. He lobs up the alley-oop pass, takes the alley-oop pass, and dunks it down. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. For three, Bullock, good. And the assist goes to Doncic. A playmaker of Doncic's talents wasn't missing that gap. He quickly gets the ball to the wide-open man. Dinwiddie against Doncic. Dinwiddie with it. Shoots over Powell. Again, the Nets for two. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. Bridges against Irving. No good that time. Bridges with some nice defense. Now here's Dinwiddie. There's the lob to Bridges. Hammers the alley-oop through. And, and the definition of teamwork right there on that alley-oop. And Greg, what about the finish? Bringing it down with some Impressive. thunder. Yeah. Now here's Paul. Here's Doncic. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. The defense tried, but Doncic gets through. Luka able to put a smooth release on the shot despite the contact. And you watch the way Doncic runs this offense. 
He's become a master at the pick and roll. Incredible to see someone run it to perfection. Here's Doncic. After Mikel Bridges, Bucket takes the 13-footer. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. Well, Luka has options all over the floor. He's a versatile shooter who can utilize the mid-range. And the first timeout call to the game for Brooklyn. And a new group out there on the floor for the Nets. And a new group getting ready for Dallas. JaVale McGee's checked in for Powell. Christian Wood comes in for Reggie Bullock. Tim Hardaway Jr.'s checked in for Kyrie Irving. And it's Hardy in for Luka Doncic. Nets leading by seven. Outside Curry. One fifty-eight left in the first. That one's off. He starts the game with a miss. Well, I play for the New Jersey Nets, and look, they made that move across the Hudson back in 2012, relocating to Brooklyn, which I think was the right move. Green kicks to Wood. Four on the clock. Here's Hardy from deep. A rebound by the Nets. Outside, Simmons. Harris outside. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. And well over a decade in Brooklyn for the Nets. Richard, what kind of impact has that move had on the franchise? Well, look, it's been great. The arena is fantastic. The fan base is growing. And more importantly, their ability to attract top-tier free agents like KD and Kyrie. They do not join the Nets if they're still in Jersey. And it's McGee with the jam. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. And Simmons slams it in. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big lead. They got off to such a hot start, and that can keep you energized throughout the whole game. Now, here's Hardy. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Here's Wood. Launches a three. Offensive rebound. And the slam dunk by McGee. And, and how about the offensive rebound with a little extra punch on the putback? You're right, Greg. As they look to trim the deficit, could we see them send a few more bodies to the boards from here on out? Maybe. Just maybe. Here's O'Neal. Following the score by Dallas. Harris setting the pick for Thomas. Over Hardaway. Green with the rebound. And usually that's a bucket for him. But look, nobody's perfect in the mid-range. And here's Wood outside. And so it's Brooklyn holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. And don't go away. We'll be right back.
And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for the Nets. Mavericks trail by eight. O'Neal is out there with Thomas. Then there's Ben Simmons. Then it's Mikkel Bridges. And it's Dinwiddie in at the point. That's the Nets five as we get into the second quarter. Now Hardaway. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Over Simmons. Hardaway, no good. Nets leading by eight. Greg, you have to love the impact that Tim Hardaway Jr. has had on the defensive end. He's got a great wingspan to bother shooters and contain penetration. Always aware of where the ball is on the floor. You could call him an underrated defender. Just three to shoot. O'Neal from long range. That doesn't go, and he's 0 of 1 from the field. Mavericks trail by eight. And here is Doncic. Outside Hardaway. A three-pointer off the mark. And so Simmons will bring it up for the Nets. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Dinwiddie against Doncic. And it's slammed in by Bridges. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Doncic finds Irving. Here he goes. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Mikkel Bridges picks one up. Putting on an absolute master class. Kyrie with every trick in the bag and then probably some more. That one falls for Irving. Well, if there's one thing, Greg, that defines a modern NBA big man, it is mobility. And, and they've got to be able to move their feet and, and really play in space. Otherwise, they just can't stay on the floor in today's game. Looking at who's out there now for the Nets. Dorian Finney-Smith comes in for Simmons, and it's Johnson in for O'Neal. That one misses. And last season, the Nets were a favorite to win it all, but Greg, a first-round sweep by the Celtics proved a very rude awakening. And Kyrie missing so many games. How about Harden wanting out? Hard to build chemistry and continuity. That has to be the focus moving forward. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And it's finishes like that which have helped them build this lead here in the first half. And here's Doncic from the arc. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Nets leading by 11. Spins. Pass to finish Smith. Let's the three fly. That one misses. And it's Dallas the other way. Here's Bullock. Bridges with the board. Brooklyn's gone three of five from beyond the arc so far tonight. Irving against Dinwiddie. Finney Smith passes to Bridges. The Nets working the ball around now. Releases. That one off the back iron and out. Mavericks trail by 11. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks very much. Now, from the step back to his attacking style, some have compared Luka Doncic to the beer, James Harden. There are some similarities, Harden said. Being able to dictate and control the game like he does, he never lets anyone speed him up, and he gets what he wants. Back to you, Kevin. He always has. They're both pretty fun to watch. David, thank you. Now here is Holiday. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And he's become a true warrior on the backboard. Doncic understands how to position himself on that offensive board. Irving with the steal. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. And a miss there on the triple. Dinwiddie finds Bridges. Back to Dinwiddie. The 
They set the pick. Now the pass to Claxton. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. Now here's Irving. On the wing, Holiday. A shot missing. Nets leading by 11. Dinwiddie outside. There's 126 left to play in the first half. From deep, Johnson. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got his sixth assist on the night. Dallas has got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. 0 of 4. Now here is Holiday. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. He can't get that one. Dinwiddie with some nice G. Throws it up high. Great communication on the alley -oop. Talk about execution on the offensive end. They're leaving nothing on the table right now. It's caused them to pull away a bit. Let's see if they can keep the train on the tracks. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Outside Holiday. Again, Holiday missing. Brooklyn with the ball. They're on an 11-3 to run right now. Here's Claxton, guarded by Powell. Claxton the pass to Dinwiddie. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Yeah, not just an impressive showing on offense, but on defense as well, executing their game plan perfectly. Now, here's Doncic. He has six. The shot and game clock separated by four. Bridges against Irving. Bridges kicks to Finney Smith. How oh, good on the three. And so it's Brooklyn taking a 19-point lead into the break. And you have to credit their defense for the job they've been doing against Irving. Kyrie's been almost invisible out there, and we don't say that very often. We come back right after this. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. And it's Irving with the ball for the Dallas Mavericks. Trailing by 19 on the court for the Mavericks. We've got Doncic. Reggie Bullock is out there with Green. Then there's Dwight Powell. And it's Irving at the two spot. Now here's Dinwiddie. Following the miss by Kyrie Irving. Pass to Finney Smith. Let's it go. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got assist number eight now on the night. Donchich outside. And there's the drive. Got a hand on it. Powell against Dinwiddie. Passes it to Johnson. to Finney Smith out to the wing lock at six and another shot whistle blows bucket is good and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three point play uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment that's his killer instinct just fanning the flames always plays hard until the final whistle no matter what the situation is Thank you. 
Free throw no good from Dinwiddie. Hey, Richard, as soon as your playing career ended, you got right into this business, into broadcasting. When did you decide that this would be the next step? Uh, well, the first time is when I thought I was going to be out the league, and so I started uh, doing more and more work uh, until I retired in 2018. So it started way before uh, I retired. That laid the groundwork for you. Good job. And that replay showed just how forceful that block was. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. Irving kicks to Green. Here's Doncic. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And how about the balance of Doncic on that possession? Amazing at just absorbing the contact and still with the strength to finish. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Christian Woods checked in for the Mavericks. Doncic has risen to stardom so fast. His drive to be an all-time great is very evident. Now, here's Bridges. Six points for him. There's the pass to Dinwiddie. Drops in the layup for two. Dinwiddie's got four points now in the quarter. Yeah, it's easy to see why they go to him so often, because they know they can depend on him to come through for them. Near the three-point line, it's Doncic. A rebound by Johnson. Johnson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Dishes it to Bridges. Here's Dinwiddie. And they get it back. Fires from deep. It's rebounded by Dallas. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. Irving with the ball. Back to Doncic. with a screen on Bridges. And here's Doncic from the arc. And it's Finney Smith with the rebound. And that's leading by 22. You talk about a defensive menace. That's Dorian Finney Smith. He has a knack for coming up with a big defensive play. Often lines up against the opponent's most important offensive play. Now, here is Irving. Back to Doncic. The fader. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. Yeah, he needs to mix things up on the offense. He simply just can't keep missing shots at this rate because he's destroying his teammates. Now, here's Dinwiddie. Nine points in the game so far. 
Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Outside Irving. Releases. Busts the J after the KG pass fade. Such a smooth operator out of the pick and roll. Irving can do so much with the ball, it's ridiculous. It makes it so difficult to game plan for him because he can break down pretty much any defense. Timeout called the Nets. And some changes here for the Mavericks. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Dwight Powell. Tim Hardaway Jr. comes in for Kyrie Irving. And it's Hardy in for Doncic. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. O'Neal up top. There's the dish to Thomas. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Green deciding where to go with it. Down low. Hard away against Simmons. And stolen by Simmons. Thomas finds Simmons. And Curry has it in the corner. Misses the three. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Shots good by Green. Nets leading by 18. Outside Curry. Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. And at his size, all Simmons needs is prime time positioning and he's golden. A fantastic dunker. Now, here's Hardy. No points in the game yet for him. And here's Wood outside. Buries it from three-point range. When he gets a quality look like this at the perimeter, he can almost be automatic. 58 seconds left in the third quarter. On its way from Curry for two. Busts the J after the KG pass fake. And the Nets lead by 19. Now here's Hardy. Out left to the wing. Here's Wood. Just five to shoot. Off target from three-point range. Brooklyn leading by 19. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Ben Simmons gets the bucket. And the closer Simmons gets to the rim, the more dangerous he becomes. I love watching him in attack mode. Thomas against Hardaway. 11 seconds left here in the third quarter. Pass to Hardy. Shoots over Curry, and he's off on his first shot of the game. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. It's the Nets opening up a huge gap. Live from Brooklyn, New York, you're watching 2K Sports.
in a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. And the ability to drop your jaw with the pass is something you rarely see in this league. What a talent he is. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. We've got Ben Simmons. Curry is out there with Thomas. Then it's O'Neal. And it's Harris in at the small forward position. So that's the Nets' five. Now, here's Doncic. That's in for his fifth field goal of the game. Makes him 5 for 12 so far. And already in his career, Doncic displays a remarkable amount of pro moves, including that floater right there. To the inside. It's deflected. Stolen by McGee. Here's Irving. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Yeah, the D has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Nets. What's up? A free throw off from Irving. One of the most creative guards that we have ever seen. Irving is just so unpredictable with the ball in his hands. Mavericks trail by 17. Now Doncic. Outside Irving. He feeds it to Bullock. O'Neal with the defensive effort. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Now here's Thomas. Doncic with the block. And good instincts from Doncic. His coaches and teammates love when he's in hustle mode and gets those blocks. Irving against Simmons. He dishes it to Curry. Back to Simmons. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Yeah, how about the concentration by the six foot ten Simmons? Ridiculously good at completing these chances despite the D's best effort. And Ben Simmons, the epitome of a point forward. He passes it well and plays huge for a guard at six foot eleven. It's crazy. It is very rare to see a player of his size with his skill set. Here's what Brooklyn's going with right now. Dorian Finney-Smith's checked in for O'Neal. Bridges comes in for Thomas. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Seth Curry. Greg Ben Simmons, one of four players in the entire history of the NBA to average at least seven rebounds and seven assists per game through his first four seasons. Think about it, joining Magic Johnson, Oscar Robinson, and Luka Doncic. That is some pretty elite level company. Dallas again missing. And so it's Dinwiddie with it. He'll bring it up for Brooklyn. Passes to Finney Smith. Bridges kicks to Harris. Dinwiddie right side. Shoots over Doncic. Doncic with the block. Irving for three. Sinks the three-pointer. Irving's got five points now this quarter. A capable shooter from distance. Give Kyrie space to fire, and he does not pass it up. Harris outside. Fires the three. And again, no good by Brooklyn. Mavericks trail by 17. It's hauled in by Harris. I, I still can't believe that one didn't fall. Dinwiddie outside. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. That's all good, and that's his fifth basket of the game. He's shooting five for 11 now. Dallas has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. And here is Doncic. And on the way from Irving for three. And it goes out of bounds. A last touch by Irving. And Brooklyn making a change here. Johnson's checked in.
Brooklyn leading by 19 points. On the wing, Bridges, covered by Irving. Bridges misses. The Mavericks have gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. Powell against Simmons. Powell dishes to Doncic. The kick out to Irving. Shot clock at six. There's the screen. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. Irving's got nine points now in just the second half. Maybe they've been going to him a little too much. Now, he's having a great game, but his team is losing, and that is all that matters. Bridges finds Dinwiddie. Bridges with it. To the middle. Here's Simmons. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And a good physical play there from Simmons. Not letting the foul stop him from getting that shot off. That's good from Simmons. A walking triple-double threat. Simmons needs to keep working on developing that jump shot to be truly unguardable. Dallas making a switch here. Green's checked in. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Mavericks trail by 19. Donchich with it. Nifty move. And here's Bullock from the arc. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. Pass to finish Smith. Over to the wing. Dinwiddie against Doncic. Now here's Johnson. Defense right on him. Shot clock at five. Here's Finney Smith. And again, it's the Nets missing. Dallas has gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. And tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner, leaving nothing to chance. Impressive win for the Nets. The differential in assists led to a lot of open looks, and it also helped to get um, you know more guys involved in the offense easy. And they made the defense adjust, but they just couldn't come up with an answer. Ben Simmons gets the bucket. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. You have to love their effort. This game wasn't handed to them. They took it. Now, here's Doncic. Back to Irving. This one for three. Another three for Dallas. Look, it's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters. It's a shame, really. If they've been playing like this last quarter, they might be in a different situation right now. And Simmons slams it in. And it's just competing. And, you know, giving your best when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, you love to hit your stride right at the crucial moments. They put this game away in style. Donchich outside. And so it's Brooklyn easily grabbing this one. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. And that about wraps it up. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. And now, it's time to present the New Balance Player of the Game.